Hello YouTube, where's the video guys? Nonstop RC here and today I'm here with a video on the initial review of my Rustler 4x4. This is not a full review, so if you're looking for a full review, please leave. Um, or if you want, you can subscribe and help me out and I will have a few full review of the Rustler 4x4, every part professional review coming up. But for right now, this is just the initial review. So right out of the box, um, it was great. It handled great, it was awesome. I took it right out the box onto some grass, some asphalt, different surfaces, it handled great. Uh, one thing I noticed is that you could really not, you had to actually try pretty hard to flip this thing over. I mean, you could barrel roll it and cartwheel, but it usually always lands on all fours and it's just really nice. And even when you do flip it over, you have that self frightening feature where I'll get to here in a little bit. But out of the box, I gotta say, it's pretty slow. It's pretty slow for a um, RC guy like me that's been driving for a long time, and it's pretty slow. It goes maybe like 30 miles an hour. Um, I would upgrade immediately if you're a professional RC guy. And if you're, if you're a noob and you just started driving, keep the gear that's in there. But if you're a professional, I would consider immediately upgrading to the gear that's in the accessory pinion gear comes with a 17 tooth and it will bump you up to 40 miles an hour and uh, I run a 2S LiPo I'd even use the stock to come at a hydrate I already know that um, uh, LiPos are just better in these types of cars in my opinion anyways guys um, the next thing I got was these aluminum shock caps and titanium shock rods I have never had a titanium shock rod bend or snap on me I think I have had one rod snap and it was not mine it was my friends and out of all the rod all my rc cars have titanium shafts on them they work great i also got the aluminum shock caps um the second round i got it i put aluminum shock caps and the pinion gear on there because i needed to go a little faster and i did not want to bust any shocks so i those are the two upgrades that i think are mandatory out of the box aluminum shock caps that's your pinion gear other than that I think that it could use some fanning because it does get a little bit hot, especially during the summer, which I'm driving right now. So I got a little bit of off-brand motor fan right here, and then I got the hot racing um, aluminum fan for the ESC. So um, it works really good. I like it better than the Traxxas one because it doesn't break. It's made out of aluminum. Other than that, guys, I've installed the full telemetry set on this thing, and that's about it. That's about all the upgrades I have on this. Um, it already comes with the metal slipper pad, so you don't have to worry about any of that. It runs great. As I said, I can't say too much about it because I only drove it for a little bit. I haven't had any parts break quite yet from wear. I did run into a steel box. And I bent the center drive shaft, but it's, I ran into a steel box, so if that tells you anything. I also um, bent three shock shafts. That's why I have titanium ones. The shocks, they're, that's insane. I. I barreled rode this car one time at 55 miles an hour. I bet three shock shafts um, I've on a 3S, and I've been driving ever since and barrel rolling on these titanium ones. I haven't had any issues, whatever. So I'd also get, those are definitely something I probably think mandatory as well. Anyways, guys, other than that, the car is great, um, but there is things that I do not like about this car. Um, there's actually five things on my list. Okay, so the first thing, my most hated on this car is a self writing feature. The self writing feature, I don't care what anybody says, it does not work on 2S LiPo. You can get it to work maybe one out of 10 times. I've done it and done it. Even a higher cam gear will not work. On a 3S, it works great. On a 2S, it will not work. The other thing is this Willy bar. This Willy bar looks and sounds like crap. Okay, when you drive, these tires skirt the ground and it goes and it's just the most cringiest sound you ever hear. Also, it's got these black tires are a little bit outdated, I think. They should include the aluminum ones, which I'm eventually gonna buy, but um, they sound a lot better too with the rubberized tires, but that's the third thing. Also, another thing with the Willy Bar is it flexes like this, and it's not adjustable. This thing flexes underneath of my body and bends it all up, and that is very, very annoying. Other thing is that it slaps the ground since it's so low to the ground, it kind of um, just, you know, like that. But it is a low center of gravity DAR, so I would expect that. That's not too big of a deal. And the last but not least is another thing with this body. It pops off when you run into something. But um, for being a clipless bot or um, our keyless body, it works really good. So I don't really have too many complaints on that. Other than that, the car 
as I said, runs great. Obviously, it comes with plastic axles, the new heavy-duty ones, but these are just a little bit thicker than the other ones, and they eventually will break. But mine are already wearing out because they're plastic. Trex puts plastic axles in their cars. But um, I would eventually upgrade to the um, Velocity drive shafts from Traxxas once these break. Also, all the knuckles turn, you know, all this stuff right here, the um, axle carriers are all plastic and they will eventually wear out as well. So I'd eventually upgrade the aluminum ones. Other than that, the car is tough as nails. I've jumped, flipped, done all kinds of stuff. The only thing I've broken was a shock shaft, which I fixed and the center drive shaft, which I also fixed. Between those two things, I spent, I think I spent 20 bucks. Um, I think I spent about 30, $40 overall upgrading this entire car. And I have absolutely no trouble with it whatsoever now. Um, it works great. I put 50 shock oil in all the shocks. They give it a little bit more, you know, without slapping the ground too easily. Obviously, you get too high, it will slap. But it works really good, even with the battery in it right now. So, um, anyways, guys, thank you for watching the video. If you have any questions, um, comment down below. But if you want to get a little bit more faster response, um, shoot me a message on my Instagram under nonstop underscore rc underscore youtube and i'll get back to you within probably a couple hours honestly but anyways guys thank you for watching and see you next time on nonstop rc